ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. Today we are playing more PlayStation Plus freebies for the month of January 2017. And the one that we're going to check out today is The Swindle. So from what I saw in the details of this, it's um, Sneaky Sneaky M up with a stash of cyberpunk with a dash of steampunk. So let's don our goggles and dive into the world of The Swindle. A steampunk cybercrime caper. I do love a good caper. Oh, no, wait. That, I, can't, I, thought, I keep on thinking of capers as the thing that you serve on a plate at the beginning of a meal. That's a caper, right? I'm, I'm not too sure. I'm actually a big fan of theft. But we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I love the fact that it just like, jumps straight into a big tune. And it's ready to play now. And it's got a real big tune. All right. So auditory, global volume, music, uh, game controls, shoot tutorials on. Yep, that's going to be useful. Controls, uh, jump, attack, use, bam, 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 bam. Simple enough. Teleports, boom. Right, let's rock and roll. So the swindle, I know absolutely nothing about this except for uh, its basic setting. But um, let's see. In 100 days, Scotland Yard will activate their breakthrough artificial intelligence technology. Codenamed the Devil's Basilisk. Its surveillance capabilities will be total. If the project is completed, your career as a master burglar will be untenable. Steal it before that can happen. Oh, I like the idea. You have 100 days. 100 days? Okay. Hmm. Old triangle activate. New heist. All right. Works for me. Levels like the sums. Okay, so we're inside my airship, and that's pretty much deciding where I'm going. Um, yeah. So I have to do. I think we'll start with level zero to go with. Nestled in the underbelly of old London town, where Big Ben's chimes strike hardest, lies a vast network of ramshackle housing known as the slums. Oligarchs of New Bulgaria and the ruling elite have squeezed the proletariat well out of the capital's booming property market, and as such desolate little shanty towns crop up wherever there's space. There's simple pickings here for a thief with low morals and lower expectations, but no one's getting rich robbing the poor. Okay, so I'm assuming... <laughs> I, I don't, it implies I shouldn't go there, but I need a tutorial, so I need to know what the hell I'm doing. Halo jump straight into the slums! <laughs> or is this like teleportation it does? Boom! Zero high school. Oh, so that's actually a character. Is your destination... It's your decision when to end a heist. Use your pod to return to the airship at any time. Warning, it is possible to get thieves into a situation from which they cannot escape. Move for prudence and select terminate employee from the main menu if necessary. Ooh! Ooh, that's harsh! I do like... Aha! Aha! That's cool. So I said you take out that copper with that. Okay, and then I can wait for this one to turn around. Whoop! <laughs> and down goes your head. Alright. I'm waiting for him to turn back around again, so I'll wait for him to do this wee lap through. Oh, that was a no door. I didn't even realize. All the monies! How do I get up higher? Assuming I have to actually jump and climb in some way, shape, or form to get up there? Aha! Uh -huh. Right. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, um... Mechanoid robots that block our path. Alright, so I can actually just jump down here, can I? Okay. Is there a, like, if I actually just, like, searched out this place? Oh, right! I'm in the slums, but I can go further? 
Ah, right, so that's what the limitations are. So I can make a little bit of money from that. I'm going to go and uh, rob elsewhere, I suppose, now that I've done that bit. But I can just go down here, get this last dude. What is that? Does that cost me money? Boom, down you go. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! So that's what that was. Okay, so have I hacked that and stopped that from going? Okay. Shut up! Let's try that again. That character is now deceased. Boom. So I like the fact that it's randomly generated for these little bits and pieces. Like the um the actual place is randomized. But the uh, theming of the location is actually all the same. Ah, for fuck's sake. Boom, down you go. I need to make my way back. <laughs> I just broke him on the way through. Nice. Okay, so I need to get the fuck out of here because the last time I got killed. Oh, you fuck! What? Oh! <laughs> I suck balls at this. Right, and I'm losing days. I need to do it within 100 days. This is a perfect example of me sucking at a game even though I'm enjoying the hell out of it. So I get the concept. Um, I'm just not brilliant at it <laughs> because I'm impatient. And that's the biggest problem I've always had with stealth ups in any way, shape, or form. I just don't have the patience for them. I end up getting to the point where I'm just going, no, 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 I just need to go and finish this now. I need to actually, I need to run through this level. I know I'm going to, I take risks where I really shouldn't, because if I just waited an extra few seconds, I wouldn't have to worry about it. All right, that's obviously a dead end. Uh. Tick tock, tick tock. Talk goes a bot bot. Alright, I need to actually for him to turn back around again because if you're standing too close to the wall, you'll automatically start um, wall riding it rather than actually doing what you want to do. Come on! Oh, you son of a bitch! You dirty son of a whore! Alright, this time I'm not even going to risk it. Oh! Ah! Oh. <laughs> this is all levels of I suck. And I'm actually enjoying sucking for once, which is okay, but I'd rather that not be the case. With the randomly generated character design as well, it looks kind of cool. That's a, that, that's a nice fringe benefit to actually me dying. I get to see more of the character designs that they made for these. Alright, so I'm going to do I'm going to do the opposite this time. I'm going to actually go from the outside in on the opposite side, because If I do that, at least then um, I'm running towards the exit rather than actually running, time to do a lap back. Alright, that's two of them down. <laughs> and I'm only here to get money, I'm not here to actually like... Kill cops or anything, like I don't need to be doing what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just trying here to get money, but not... All right, we got this. <laughs> All right, I think I've actually gotten to the point now where I'm, I'm kind of getting a little bit more reflexy good at this. There we go. At least close the door so he doesn't see me through it. Would be a good start. Oh shit! There's a second one. There you go. Oh. There we go. <laughs> For once, I actually managed to complete a day without actually getting murdered. Great. This person might actually survive until the second mission. Boom, done, dusted, and walk away. 
I have completed a tutorial. <laughs> All right, so we have a little bit of cash. Um, I'm curious to know what the leveling works for um, getting equipment and skills and stuff. So let's see. Workbench. Assuming you upgrade all your tools and stuff that you have. Ah, nice. It has actually has got like an upgrade tree. So double jumping, movement speed, wall jumping, stealth. I might need that. Oh, surviving falls. So useful. Um, abilities. What's there? Hacking, speed, hack, aptitude, melee strength, action hero. <laughs> Bionic eyes. Oh, cool. Teleporter. This is actually, uh, this is, a, I've got a nice rich kind of um, spread of skill sets. I We've played a lot of roguelikes. I'm finding this is actually just becoming a much more prevalent game style again. And I don't know if I'm actually massively enthused because I like RPGs that kind of have not repeatable tasks, but actually have a linear kind of direction to them. Meanwhile, most of these you get to each place, you get to a boss, and then that's pretty much the, um, like, once you get your boss, it's pretty much, you're just starting a loop. You're, you're, you're iterating from one to the next, and I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of that. It's just, it's just something that actually just, it, it makes me get to the point of, like, yeah, oh, so literally I'm just going to do this again and again and again until I get to mid the big boss, and then maybe I'll get enjoyment out of that because I've, maxed out all of my skills by getting there and I fear whenever they have roguelikes where you lose the skills and lose the abilities and lose the content that you've made beforehand now Rogue Legacy really annoyed me for that because it actually got to the point where unless you built correctly to actually have uh, money to constantly keep on expanding your skill set you didn't really get to do any more until you ground out, ground out a section with this it seems a bit less, it seems to remind me a lot more of Neon Chrome which was um, a really good game uh, do the rogue like style with I think I the video for it went up like two weeks ago so you can check it out on the channel but uh, this is a, as a free game on PS Plus I'm highly enthused I like the look of this dude <laughs> you know it looks properly sneaky so um yeah how many days remain 98 I could go and do another heist but um I think I I think that kind of like shows basics of what this game can do and I wouldn't mind getting into it to see if I can spend more time Prepare myself to not look like an absolute idiot in <laughs> every iteration. Just uh, all I need to do is learn patience, or at least get some way of um, from the skill sets that I actually don't get immediately caught or one of those uh, super cops arrive to kick my ass afterwards. So yeah, um, thank you very much for watching, guys. This has been the Swindle. It's a part of the PlayStation Plus freebies for the month of January 2017. Um, if you liked what you saw of me getting my ass beat, that doesn't happen too often, by the way. That normally I'm decent enough at a game not to die multiple times in the first few minutes of gameplay. So and especially in the tutorial level. So yeah, you can hit the subscribe button if you want to see me uh, not suck at other games. Um, occasionally I do suck. And occasionally I get angry. But you'll see that. You'll get check out the channel and find out. You get up notifications of everything that comes up whenever that you hit that button up above. Or you can hit the buttons over here, which is actually all the videos that will be coming up uh, that I've done recently that you can actually see up either recommended to you or the most recent uploads or a playlist. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. This is again being the Swindle on PlayStation 4 for PS Plus Freebies. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.